Hey guys, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and today we're gonna to talk about why you should own a 22 pistol. So this is my 22 pistol. This is a Ruger SR22. Uh, I like this gun. I like this gun a lot. Uh, it's kind of a Picatinny rail. It's kind of a tactical style gun, uh, just in the sense that you can mount a light on it and stuff. Uh, I ended up putting a threaded barrel in here so I can mount a suppressor on there once my suppressor gets out of NFA jail. Uh, 10 rounds. It's an ambi safety, which I don't like. It's an DASA gun, which I don't like, but, but whatever. All in all, I like this gun. I like this gun a lot. This is a really good gun. Um, maybe I should make a video about that at some point, but point is, I like this gun and you should own a 22 pistol. And the reason you should own a 22 pistol is anytime you want to introduce someone to shooting who hasn't shot before, hasn't shot in a long time, this is the gun to do it with. Uh, maybe it's a Ruger, you know, 10 R or 10 22, uh, or maybe it's the, the SR 22, whatever, you know, some kind of 22 caliber gun, either a pistol or rifle. I prefer a pistol because I come from a self-defense shooting kind of, perspective, right? That, that's, that's what I'm here to do. But that's neither here nor there. Point is, is it should be a 22 caliber pistol. And that is the primary reason I own this gun. And it's the primary reason I'm gonna get a suppressor for it because shooting a 22 is a lot easier to learn with. Uh, you gotta remember, people that are new to shooting, uh, things like recoil and noise and, and uh, barrel blast, you know, things like that, they make a difference, they really do. Uh, when I first got into shooting, I thought we could just kind of skip past all that, right? And we could, we could just start people on nines and start them on ARs and just like run and gun and go. And some people you can do that with. I, I think there, there's a small percentage of people who are just, they're all in, they're ready to go. You know, stuff like that isn't going to be as big of a factor. But for most people, most people are intimidated by guns and by shooting. And so when you hand them a gun that's going to be loud or have substantial recoil, that's going to be a problem and, and that's not going to help them learn to shoot. In fact, it's going to reinforce their biases. I think that's plural for bias, right? It's going to reinform their, reinforce their biases that shooting is scary and dangerous and no one should do it. Uh, that, that's, that's what they're going to do. And that's where you get these videos of, you know, guys giving their 120 pound girlfriends a 12 gauge shotgun to shoot a gun for the first time. They don't show them how to hold it or do anything else. And then they just laugh when they get hit in the face or they have a big heavy revolver, right? And it comes up and, and smacks them in the face. And, and that's because, I mean, one, those people were put in a very unfair position and those people are pricks who did that to them. Uh, that's one. And, and two, again, you're already scared. You're already nervous. You're already whatever. And then I'm gonna shoot this thing, it's gonna come up and smack me in the face. It just reinforced my whole bias of why I didn't wanna do this in the first place, right? That person will probably never shoot again. Or it'll be a very long and slow road for them to be rehabilitated to the point where they would wanna shoot again. Conversely, if you start someone out on a 22 and you're able to work on building the fundamentals of grip and stance and all this kind of thing, with, you know, again, minimal recoil and they're able to control the gun, they're able to build up some competence and confidence. If, if they're able to build those things early, then we graduate them to, a, you know, a real caliber, like a nine, uh, and say, okay, this is this is what normal shooting is. Like, this, this is where we wanna be here. And now they're able to say, okay, well, this has a little more recoil, this is different than the other gun, but it's not unmanageable. It, it, it's not something that's just way out there that they can't see themselves getting to, they can say, okay, I, I can see how to do this now. And that happens because you start them on a 22. Uh, 22 pistols are incredibly cheap, right? Uh, most companies will make one now, even Glock makes one, uh, although I've heard really bad things about it. <laughs> but that's a, that's a different thing. Most companies are gonna make one. Uh, they're extremely affordable to buy, like as a gun. They're usually like three, 400 bucks, something like that. They're not too bad. And then ammo for 22, you know, when you can find it, which I think you can right now, is like what, six, seven cents, five cents around, something like that. It means dirt cheap. So if you're into guns and you fancy yourself, even just being able to show your friends how to shoot when they come to you and say, hey, you know, I, I wanna get into guns, I wanna go shooting, could you take me shooting? Or if you mention you're going shooting, they ask if they can come with. Or for all of us that want to get our wives and girlfriends into shooting, go out, buy yourself a 22 caliber pistol. Thank me later. That is going to be the best possible way to start someone 
on the path to shooting. I'm not saying we should stay there. I'm not saying you should carry a 22, although you could, and that's a different discussion. I'm not saying any of that. What I'm saying is get a 22 because it is the best possible door into shooting. So I hope I made that clear. Buy a 22 and, and again, do it for, again, we're, we're trying to add more people into the gun world, right? The more people we have in the gun world, the more people that are comfortable with guns, the more people that are shooting guns, the more people that are familiar with how they operate, the better off we're all going to be. So I want as many people into the gun world as possible, which is in part why I do what I do. Uh, and also the way we're going to get there is by you and me and everybody else, just normal guys and girls teaching people how to shoot on a 22. So buy 22s, shoot 22s, teach people how to shoot with 22s. I hope that's clear. If you got any questions or, or added comments to that, I'd love to hear it because I'm always open uh, to strategies on how we're going to get more people into this thing. Do brave deeds and endure.